So I think it's shared by people you admire, right? So I'm massively, I massively admire uh, Marcus Aurelius. I admire uh, Leonardo da Vinci and Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Now, uh, what is interesting about these men is they have held space for the best of most of them, and they have been, they've had multiple things going on as their body of work, but they kind of live beyond the body of work. So Marcus, of course, was a warrior. He was an emperor, and he was a philosopher of his times. He stoicism was was his thing. and uh, so the best writing he's done is when he was in war uh, then there is of course atul bihari vajpayee who was a poet and a politician and a little bit of a outside of the society kind of a uh, person then there is uh, leonardo of course who is who's just amazing in in the amount of stuff that he's explored in his life and the body of work that he's created and it's such a massive uh, diverse body uh and uh these were not perfect men they were they were never trying to be perfect they actually um there were sides to them which were like terrible but they didn't judge themselves on it and i'm sure they had themselves uh and they also had people around them who held the worst of them because to do this to become this to be known uh, after so many decades of being gone for something uh these are not simple men uh and i'm sure there are sim- not so simple women out there also right but um, we keep looking for perfection we keep looking for these good qualities but humans are not meant to be good all the time i mean there is uh, there is polarity and uh, and the duality is where the creation is and if you don't allow the duality and you're for- forever just looking at the goodness and the nicety and the perfection and the efficiency and the whatever um it's in that subconscious and in the depths of despair that some of the best stuff sometimes gets created but i'm also not a believer of the tortured artist so there is duality <laughs> in the same argument but it's the duality which makes life interesting and it's important that we hold space for the best of worst of us because whether it's buddha or hitler they're both human beings and uh, if their needs were met and if they were cared for as people uh, their potential would be different uh, and that's what i think people will look up to kind of teachers that their needs were met and their potential was fortified because of it